day everyone. Today's video is purely to let you all know where I've been and what I've been doing and why I'm taking a bit of a break from YouTube and then also put out a bit of a request to people up here in the Pilbara. So first and foremost I've been taking a bit of a break from YouTube that's purely because I'm loving life so much at the moment with how it all is that YouTube for me over the last couple of years had always been sort of my escape away from all the things that I didn't enjoy being around but at the moment I'm just really loving life like I've um, yeah I'm happy that's all there is to it I'm super happy and I'm content which in a way I kind of don't like being content because that's what it does to you it makes you sort of put things on the back burner but that's what I'm doing for the moment I'm really enjoying life up here right now in Karatha and today I've just been out for a dive so I've been spearfishing now for about a month uh, today is my third dive I went out yesterday and today so what I'm gonna do after I'm done talking is show you guys some clips of me diving and getting some fish but I've just been diving solo and that's sort of the message I don't want to put across to you guys is that I'm up here now I am gonna get bigger and better with the videos I'm gonna get back into it just not yet I'm enjoying having a break. I'm really loving my new job and work and everything else that I've got going on. So life is good and that's sort of why I'm just enjoying that at the moment and taking away the pressure of YouTube. Another thing that you guys may have noticed, anyone that's come back to my channel looking for things has had this message a few times now is that I've taken down all of my old videos. So all of my videos only start from my time now in Karatha onwards. And that's just because that's the only part of my life that I sort of want to have portrayed on the internet that's just with all respect to myself just a little bit easier that way having that up gives me a fresh start and yeah i just feel like my newer videos are on a different tier to the older ones with all the camera gear and the way i put them together so from this moment forward i just want to produce high quality stuff now with that being said where am i today Today I'm at the Dampier Archipelago once again. This time I can say the word like it rolls off the tongue, no worries at all. And I've just been bouncing around a few islands yesterday and today. And yesterday I got out for my first ever solo dive and only my second spearfish ever. The reason why I went solo is because I can't actually get anyone to come with me. Uh, I've been reaching out to a lot of people, but because everyone works rosters up here in different shifts or everybody's already got their dive buddies because they're used to them and they've been up here for years. I'm finding it hard to get anyone to go out with, so that's why I'm putting this video up. If you're a Spiro in Karatha, Headland, Onslow, Dampier, anywhere like that, I'm willing to make the trips. Every few weeks I'm going to be looking to get out and do this. Now I'm pretty new to it myself, but I'm pretty confident in the water. I like to think I'm doing things the right way, but it's definitely not ideal diving on your own. I don't really mind it, but yeah, if things do go wrong, it's nice having that second set of hands there. So with that being said, if you are into diving and you live up in the Pilbara at all, send me a message if you want to get out with me. Obviously I can't get out every weekend and I don't expect that everyone else can, but it's good to have, I guess, 10 people on rotation or something. So you can always send out a message to 10 people and one of those people is always going to be keen for a dive. And that's what I'm hoping for. Now, getting to the events of yesterday and today. So yesterday, I jumped in the water and like I said it was my first ever solo dive. I scoped out some ground on Google Earth and I was just looking for a ledge because that's what I dived on the first time I went out and I did find a nice ledge and I got there and it was what I thought it was and it went perfectly. I jumped in straight away there was a coral trout on offer. I plugged that one perfectly, stoned it. Very happy with that one, and then I jumped back in looking for some blue bone, some uh, black spot tusk fish, and yeah, I got two of them. Now, those shots there aren't really anything to brag about on the camera. I mean, they were top shots, so I didn't even have to dive down. I was in about five meters of water, and these blue bone gifted me the shots. So they came in, textbook, they sussed me out, they turned sideways, and they presented themselves beautifully for me to just hit them, and I did that.
So yesterday I caught a quick start for that, two blue bone, one trout. I went home last night, filled them up and um, yeah, just took it easy. And then as well as that, so I thought I'd come back out today rather than going to work and came out this morning thinking the conditions were going to be better and they were in the morning. It was a nice glassy morning on the run out. I was about 30 kilometres offshore in the tinny and that's what I mean by I don't really like doing this solo because it's a long way to be on your own. But anyway, I jumped back in the water straight away. There was more trout on off. I was on some similar ground to what I was on yesterday. And yeah, I wasn't going to waste any time. I knew there'd be bigger ones around yet again, but I jumped down, I shot this trout, another good shot, kept that one. And then after that, it was all misery. I missed that many good shots today. I have no idea what happened to me. I just wasn't on fire and I did shoot uh, one Spanish flag and as I hit that one, it took me under a ledge and I thought that I'd be able to pull the spear back out with it on there, but it got me under there so well that I accidentally pulled the flag off the flopper. So that was a bit of a uh, pitfall there, but it's all learning. So one, one fish that unfortunately didn't survive because of me. I only kept the one trout, but compared to line fishing, that's pretty good odds, really. Heaps of learning today. I spent hours in the water and I did have a good time, but now it's blown up. The wind's come in, the water's dirty again. The current's really, really strong, so I can't dive and enjoy it. And uh, yeah, that's me. So I just wanted to put this one up. I know it's short and sweet. It's really hot up here. Obviously, I'm in the Pilbara. I'm in a wetty because I've just come fresh out of the water, but I am going to get back into the camping now, it's Easter weekend, so after this weekend, any time I get off now, I'm going to start going back camping, doing cook-ups, taking the dogs out, all that sort of thing. It's really weird living somewhere like this in the Pilbara, because I've grown up on the south coast my whole life, where you actually say you look forward to winter, that's something that's completely new to me, but it's 100% true, I cannot wait for winter, for the weather to cool down and get back into camping, because otherwise it's just too hot to do it. Now I'm going to wrap it up there. I think I've said all I need to say. Really, I'll be back soon. If you want to go for a dive, let me know. If you're into YouTube or you make videos and you want to go diving and make videos with me, also let me know on that one. I'm completely down for it. I'm really happy. Life's good. I'm just taking a bit of a break at the moment and enjoying myself for what life is. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the clips. Enjoy the views of this place. And I'll see you next time.